Hello friends, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to add a custom output field in a Paul uh, query in <coughs> SRM A with uh, any of the document types like shopping cart, PO, RFS, quotation, etc. So let's get started. Uh, open transaction is PRO and then go to IMG node, then uh, SRM server, go to cross application settings then come down to uh, you know uh, power and advanced search search query by, by drop down button then click on uh, activate and deactivate uh, refresh power so this is this uh, when you activate uh, the power query will be activated uh, uh, automatically uh, based on the timings which you are going to define so i activated this uh, automatic refresh uh, define the number and intervals of this iteration for this refresh of the power. So I click on that execute that I am going to uh, know number of times is 2 interval is for every 10 seconds uh, the query will be refreshed. So this is for testing so later I we have to change this interval we cannot give 10 seconds. So it should be for longer interval otherwise this will create an performance issue. And the next one is uh, you know adding uh, uh, output uh, uh, to the uh, in the output screen of the Powell query. So for that uh, click on adjust for Powell layout search criteria push button uh, execute that uh, node. Um, so in this uh, before uh, uh, creating a output to the particular uh, you know document type you should know the feeder of that uh, Powell ID. So in my case, I'm going to do it for RFK. So the feeder is basically SRM feeder underscore RFK. So if you wanted to do some actions in, uh, you know, uh, the power, you can uh, choose actions. So now we are going to do uh, uh, the output on the field catalog, uh, output uh, uh, list. So for that, you have to choose the field catalog. So here, these are all the list of uh, standard uh, column which is available. So I am going to add uh, y4 uh, custom uh, column there, uh, you know th these are all the standard by standard SAP has given up to 10 uh, columns we can add uh, in the output list. So you choose uh, one from this, um, so I have already chosen uh, 4 and you can also define the position where it should be uh, you know, added. Uh, add the description and if you want to add the tooltip that also can be added again a tool tooltip. So just refresh it. Yeah, so you can see the output here PR numbers and then source uh, proportion and PO number. Yeah, so it is in um, fourth column. Source is coming under four, proposal five and PO number is six. So this is uh, defined in the position. So this is how you can add a custom output field in the Paul queries. So next, if you wanted to uh, know, uh, disable or uh, you know, do some activity against uh, you know action buttons in a Paul. So let me take in this quotation RFK and then uh, double click on actions. So this I'm going to create response to be uh, deactivated. So I have chosen create response then scroll to your right you will have an um, enable uh, so that should be unchecked um, and then save and activate so now if you open a bidder tab and click on refresh uh, yeah so the create response will be uh, disabled so this, this also can be actions can be done against the, this uh, action node uh, by knowing your feeder uh, id for the power thank you for watching this video if you like my video, please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.